Joining me now is Carl Catter, the half-brother of Bob Catter and a board member of the lobby group for Gay Marriage, Australian Marriage Equality. Carl Catter, thank you very much for joining us on Newsday. Australian Marriage Equality is not the only group or individual that has slammed this campaign by Bob Catter's party. Tell us your thoughts on seeing the advertisement. Well, originally I actually thought it was a bit of a joke. I saw it online and I thought it was a bit of a parody, but unfortunately it's actually a um, sad effort on their behalf to try and win some of those right-winged conservative votes, and, and that's pretty much a, a minority out there in um, the Queensland electorate. Well, you've said this ad could damage people, do damage. How so? Well, <laughs> It's pretty much giving people the reason to hate. And there are, there are a few people or, or a small group out there who haven't had the luxury of, um, of uh, dealing with people from diverse, diverse walks of life and diverse backgrounds. And so it's giving those people a reason to hate. Um, the thing that also disturbs me greatly about that ad is it's an insult to the Queenslanders. I mean, the Queenslanders are looking for maybe a, a third party to consider at the next election. And what does this party present? nothing that's relevant to their state issues, only things that are relevant to their own agenda, I suppose. So, I mean, to spend money on a mainstream ad for television that's not addressing the core issues that, that Queensland should be considering at this point in time is just, you know, very disappointing. I mean, they really, ha they really have no respect for the Queensland, Queensland population. Bob Catter has said that he admires you for speaking out. Have you been tempted to pick up the phone and, and give him a call and tell him what you think? No, I don't think he actually does, does you know, res respect or, or whatever. Um, my involvement in, in wanting to create a fairer and, and equal Australia, I mean, if he did, um, he wouldn't be putting this rubbish on the television, this offensive homophobic rubbish. So uh, can I ask how long is it since the two of you have had a discussion on the subject? Um, I'm a fair while. I haven't discussed the subject with him because he's set a, set a precedent for many years in regards to his, his, his thoughts on this and, and, you know, I can spend my time doing better things and talking to more, more influential progressive people. So. And you can do that as a board member of Australian Marriage Equality. It's certainly not the only group that has been highly critical of this campaign today. Yeah, we've seen Anna Bly yeah. uh, also um, describing it as offensive. Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, are we living in the 50s now? They're obviously a desperate group of people who, who, who know that they're not going to get a really good turnout or vote at the election. And, and they're just, you know, grappling for or, or striving to, to kind of capture any kind of uh, right wing conservative vote. And, and the, the response shows that people are a bit fed up with that. And Queenslanders are so over being portrayed as bigots and homophobes. And these people are people who wear their religion on their sleeve. I mean, I couldn't think of anything more unchristian than, than this kind of victimisation that they've undertaken. So, you know, I think it's a really bad move on their behalf. But, you know, and they want to, and they want, they want to win seats in the state government. I mean, it's ridiculous. I note on Twitter people encouraging others to call uh, the headquarters of uh, the Bob Catter's party and uh, make their feelings known, make, make, their, make their disgust known. And so it's becoming part of a, a social media campaign as well. Of course. There's a lot of people from all walks of life who are upset by this. And, um, and it, it, it's, <laughs> it's so irresponsible. It is, it's pathetic. And, you know, I just I, I don't know what was going through their head when they thought they'd present that. But what about real issues that are affecting Queenslanders? I mean, come on. This is a state... I mean, this isn't a state issue. It's a federal issue. So, I mean, I, yeah, I just don't understand it. Carl Catter, I do thank you very much for speaking to us on Sky News Day Thanks, today. Thanks, Selena. Thank you.